Ever wondered how to tap into the wisdom of your heart? That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Okay, so how do we tap into the wisdom of the heart? You can do that with breath because breath connects to the heart chakra. Uh, it's, you know, it works perfectly for tapping into the energy of the heart and the wisdom that comes with that. So there are many <laughs> different ways that you could do that with the breath. But this particular uh, breath work, is is quite was well, it's, it's for beginners basically uh there is an advanced one that i'll post a little bit later down the line okay. so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our left hand and we're going to place that around where the heart chakra is so you can see that yeah so we're going to place that there and it's it's at a distance it's about two two inches or so from the center of your heart Okay, and then the other hand, the you can either come into Gion Mudra or Yana Mudra as it's known as well, which is thumb tip touching the first fingertip. Or if you know Invocation Mudra and you've used it, you can come into that, which is very powerful uh, <laughs> when you point, yeah, you're sending energy. So two fingers is better than one, okay? So, I'm going to come into Yana Mudra here. So, what we are doing in this pose, this is the, the Yana Mudra is the mudra of knowledge and wisdom. If you're coming into invocation, then what you're doing essentially is you're building that heart energy to be directed somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Dog's making. If you hear funny noises in the background, it's the dog. <laughs> okay, and then this this right hand goes. I'm mirroring it. Okay, so the right hand is down at about the level of the heart. Okay, and then your left hand is hovering over your heart center. So get yourself comfortable. So if you have to sit on a chair, sit on a chair. If not, sit on the floor in whatever position feels comfortable for you now there is a video that i just posted uh, which will be up there and also at the end of this video uh, on how long to do these things for how long how long do how long do you do breath work for and there's different times which correlate to different effects that you'll feel in around and outside of your body okay so go and check out that video, it'll be up here and then at the end of this video as well. Okay, so left hand is over the heart. Okay, right hand, you're either in Gion Mudra or Invocation Mudra, depending on what you're going to do with that energy, yeah? So just quickly, Invocation Mudra, if you want to, you can then direct that, that energy that you build up into yourself for self-healing, okay? You can do that. All right. Okay. So we close the eyes. Get yourself comfortable. And if you want to before you can ground. Okay. <clears throat> so settle the body. And we're going to keep the inhale and the exhale the same length. So when you breathe in and you can use Ujjayi here if you want to. 
just going to move that closer. So just take a few deep breaths first and see where your breath wants to settle. So it might be that you breathe in for five and out for five, yeah? Or if you can, you can you can take that up to six, seven or eight. And if you've done any kind of breath work before, you might even be able to take it up to 10. So that's inhale and exhale for 10, if that is something that you can do. Okay, so we're breathing in. So it's a rolling breath. We're not holding at the end of the inhale or the end of the exhale. It's a rolling breath, breathing in and out for five, all the way up to 10. Keeping that going. And what you might begin to find, your feel, is a tingling in the palm of your left hand, maybe even in the palm of the right hand as well, but almost certainly in the palm of your left hand, there will be a tingling sensation. So keep that breath going, that breath pattern in, and rolling straight into the exhale. keeping them both the same length. Keep that going. So this is a really good breath work to tap into the wisdom of the heart, your cosmic soul, okay? So if at any point as you go, you move through your day, through this ascension energy, especially right now, If you feel that inclination towards making a sharp, angry, not fearful kind of decision, choice, then come to this breath. Even doing this breath for a minute will help you tap into the energy of the heart, which is more expansive. and slower than the energy of fear and anxiety and anger. Because how often have we made a decision, a choice based on anger, fear, or, um, you know, those those kind of negative things that come up, and then we regret them straight away afterwards. Breathing in and out. So as your breath deepens and slows, you might find you can take the inhale and the exhale a bit longer, just keeping them the same length. And then when you feel ready, just come back to normal breathing. And
and you can either place both hands on the heart or you can place them somewhere on the body that needs healing if you're using the invocation mudra then you can actually direct that it's like psychic surgery if you like yeah you can direct that to anywhere on the body that needs that uh, healing and because it's the right hand that's outgoing that's projective so you're projecting that energy that you've built up into your body okay I'm doing that on my elbow because I've got a little bit of a energy block thing going on there and then you can rub the hands together and ground again at the end if you need to so if you've got any questions any comments leave them below this video um, just to let you know we are on under the witch's path we're on MeWe. we're on patreon to access our courses for a very small subscription fee uh we're also on pinterest we're on soundcloud <laughs> we're also now on bitshoot and brand new tube and if you want to check out our website crystalsrockearth.weebly.com um there you can access uh the second healing um you can sign up for that there um, any links to anything else all below this video uh, we hope to see you in the next one be fearless satnam